Hi everyone, my name is Raj Shekhar. Welcome to my channel. This video is about the project file which I'm going to share to you people. This uh, project file is pretty much like a DMX template which you can use for all your projects. The intention of sharing this project to you people is to make your life easier by right away experimenting with DMX lights and animating them, then going through the process of creating lights, adding functions, patching and going through every other process which is required. Uh, and for anyone who is interested to learn complete process, you can check the card which I am going to put on the screen right now. There are two methods. One is called the level sequencer method and the other one is the chances method. So I will be putting them one after the other. I will also be sharing a third link on the screen, the third card which is about the difference between Unreal Engine 4.26 and the 4.27 in terms of DMX library. So anyone who is interested to know about it, please click on it and watch that and then get back to this. So this project file will enable you to right away get started with your DMX and you, know, you can start testing your DMX slides and see how it works. I'll be sharing you the Dropbox link of this project in the description of this video. So how you need to go about is download this file, make a second copy of it uh, in your computer and work on one. In the event something happens, you always have a copy to restore it. So that's how you use it. So the moment you run the project, a default template opens up. Go to content and uh, this is the map here's your dmx library and this is the level sequencer so let's run the map by clicking on rts dmx so this is a small test environment which i've created for you people so there are totally uh, let me check there are totally 19 lights in the scene except the uh, matrix and the laser everything else is duplicated so that's about the lights, I have organized them uh, in the outliner, as you see, these are default stuffs, the DMX lights and the truss. In content browser, under content, I have a folder called DMX Childs, where you'll find all the child version of uh, DMX fixtures. In the event, if you plan to create additional lights, you can drag and drop from this, then doing it from the master DMX fixture content folder. About the universe and port range, for this uh, test project, I've added 10 universe which is more than enough for you to test. In the event, if you want to make any changes to the port universe, you can always go to edit, project settings, go all the way down and look for DMX plugin. And then inside this under DMX communication settings, you will have input and output ports. Make sure it's on Artnet and you can change the amount of universes you want. We will get back to this window later as we'll be discussing something important here. So let's close this out. Let's get inside the DMX library. From this version of 4.27, there is no controller tab. Only when you enable, this is only for information. Only when you enable the ports, you will have these options here. And then you will be able to create fixtures as well. The difference between this new version and the older 4.26 version has been uh, discussed already in a separate video. Let's move on to fixture types. And I have created all the lights with the corresponding functions. In this window, you will be changing only the static matrix. You'll be changing the cells, number of cells you wish, and the orientation. Moving matrix is something which I haven't figured out, to be frank. So I'll be discussing about this in the upcoming, in the future videos. One important thing to note here is, if you want to duplicate lights on the set, first come inside this DMX library, uh, decide how much lights you want clearly. Because if you're unclear and if you delete something, what will happen is the fixture patch will turn red and then you'll have to relink and repatch everything. You'll have to go through trouble of doing that. So be clear on how much lights you want and then come here and say, for example, you want uh, four more additional strobe lights, then copy and paste it for four times. On the set, you can assign uh, patch files accordingly. Talking about the patch, everything is patched in the, to the universe one. Now, if I want two additional strobe or uh, additional lights of anything here, and if I want all these lights to be same, I mean each type, then I don't need to worry about creating a separate patch file. Let's assume that I'm going to have additional four moving head lights, making it a total of five, and all these five different moving head lights are going to be different, they're not same. Then in that case, you need a separate patch file for them. You'd go about it by uh, duplicating it uh, four times, and then coming here, click on add fixture, and add all the patches from here, so that it will be automatically patched here. And then save the progress. That's how you duplicate for any light. Please be aware of the workflow. In the event, if you have any doubts, you can refer to the videos which I've created before. Uh, do watch out for uh, things which I told now. Let's close out. Let's get inside uh, the sequencer. The moment you're inside, click on patch and click add all patches. So all the patches are added. 
sequence allows you to um, animate each and every attributes uh, displayed here so now the important thing which i discussed to you before so if you didn't create a separate patch file for lights which are going to be different you will not be able to add that because you haven't created them in the first place you will only have the patch file of one light which you created and duplicated lights will be sharing the same patch file and they are going to be the same hope you get the logic hope this uh, clarifies you further so that's why you need to be clear on how many lights and how they are going to be in the first place and then physically create lights here and then link them to their uh, corresponding patch file once you've done animating adding your keyframes here uh, you have the option to export this out to a movie which we have discussed earlier uh, in a separate video adding camera angles and to whatever style you want there are a lot of shortcuts for level sequencer i recommend you to be uh, familiar with that so that it will make your workflow more easier so let's uh, close this out that's pretty much about it people thought of uh, walking you through a few uh, do's and don'ts so that you'll have a clarity before i end this video I would like to address a few commonly asked questions by people who are new to DMX systems with an Unreal Engine. So the first concern is the light is not simulating or they don't see the uh, DMX uh, fixtures uh, tab here. They don't see this uh, folder. And the third one is the uh, chances is not communicating with Unreal Engine. So we'll go through these three one by one so that no, there will be a clarity. If your DMX is not triggering, there could be just one possibility. Your antivirus could be blocking that ports. My suggestion is temporarily disable your antivirus, test your DMX simulation and see if that works. You can also try with different Unreal Engine. These are two common things which I usually troubleshoot. It, it works uh, right away. And about antivirus, if you happen to disable your antivirus for testing this, please make sure to re-enable them. Just uh, be aware of that. And the second thing, if you don't see this folder here, you will have to go to edit plugins search for a DMX make sure to have a tick mark on all the DMX items and then restart the engine that's point number one point number two in the bottom right click on view options put a tick mark on show engine and show plugin content only when it's having a tick mark you'll be able to see all these folders and then your DMX fixture content so that's about DMX not triggering and then the second case wherein you're not finding the folders now about the chances let's fire up chances and simple generic console as soon as chances is up click on full and then click on setup so in setup go down to network and in network look for visualizer IP address visualizer IP address is your IP address of Unreal Engine make sure this IP address is same as the address mentioned in the settings of Unreal Engine so where do you check there in Unreal Engine, go to Edits, Project Settings, go all the way down to DMX Plugin and under DMX Communication Settings, here's the IP address. In my uh, case, the IP address is not matching. It is set to a default loopback address. So if I want Unreal Engine and Chances to communicate, I have to make sure this is on zero and this is on zero as well. If I happen to change uh, this IP address, I need to mention the same on Chances as well. So that's about uh, troubleshooting the connectivity problems between Chances and Unreal. Pretty much when you do this, it should start syncing up and working. Thank you once again. Do subscribe to the channel. Do pass it to friends and families who are interested to learn this DMX system and who are willing to make use of this uh, project template. By default, there is a BP template offered by uh, Epic uh, already. This happens to be a scaled down version of it so that no, you'll be able to manage things easily. So hope you find this uh, useful. If you come up with anything interesting, do share it in the comment section. See you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Bye.